What's up, yo? Welcome back to the channel, Breaking Bad, season three, episode eight. Eight. I see you. I see you. Like boss baby. Like I see you. Our, our four year old our, does that. It is the most hilarious thing ever. <laughs> She'll just be sitting in the corners like. Across the table, even like if we're at like a table full of people and she's like all, all the way down there. It's so funny. Like, what? What, what is, did I do? It is so funny. <laughs> but somebody had a birthday. The big 3 8. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh my God. It was yesterday, if you guys were wondering. Yes. So you guys are watching this on Thursday. So, birthday was February 6th. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. There were a you lot guys of are them. awesome. I love it when you guys say, oh, she's an Aquarius. That's why I like her so much. I love you too. <laughs> you guys crushed it with the birthday wishes. There were so many of them. You guys absolutely rock. Uh, love best you guys too. Best subscribers, best family in the world. You guys are amazing. Thank you for understanding that we didn't put a video up. All right, let's get into this. Cause last episode, Fucking nuts. Was insane. Um, but I think in the chaos of what happened at the end of that episode, we kind of overlooked something. We forgot to talk about something in our wrap up. Oh, who, yeah. who was the one who called Hank? Who warned him that the twins were coming? And, you know, we talked about it for a little bit before we jumped on camera. And I think we were able to boil it down to like three people. Three. Yes, three people. So the first one, the most obvious that we thought of that came to our minds first because he was the most aware of everything that's going on, he basically gave the call, is Gustavo. Yeah, he's the number one. Number two, thinking maybe Saul, like maybe Gustavo had told yeah. Saul like the because, message got relayed to him because Saul knows that Hank and Walt are family, and then number three, yeah, the cleaner, Mike, Mike, yeah, Mr. Clean, because he's <laughs> seems like he's involved and is aware and knows everything that's going on right yes. now. Yes. Do you have a favorite in the race? Which one of those three do you think is most likely? Do you have a prediction? Gus. You think it's Gus? I think totally Gus. I, I just I'm gonna feel go like with Mike. he's the only one that would like. He's the only one that would know. Yeah. Like, I, why would Gus tell a bunch of people? I could I, I could see it. Like, my prediction is going to be Mike because I don't think Gus does a lot of his own work. I think he delegates a lot of oh, stuff out. Oh, you think out. he told? I think he's like, hey, you Mike, he told. Go, 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 go give him the warning. Um, let him know what's going down. So yeah. hopefully we find out in this episode. That would be pretty interesting to find out. Hopefully Hank makes it out of this episode. Hopefully those gunshots weren't too fatal. Um, you know, but he's got a lot of protection, so hopefully, hopefully, you know, this nothing penetrated too far into his, you So know. you think just because you got a little extra weight on you, does that mean you've got helps. protection? I would hope it helps. I don't know, man. It's got more layers bullets, of stuff to fly through. Bullets go through stuff. Yeah, but I, hopefully he's all right. Hopefully he's doing well and he survives, but the gang's back together too. Jesse and Walt are working together again. Partners 50-50, working the new super mega lab. They don't have to work in a mobile lab anymore. No more RV. They are in a big boy, super dope, insanely brand new But I still feel bad lab. for Gail. Like, yeah. my heart. Like, that's so fucked up. I think Gail will be all right in the long run. Dude's really smart. Why am I so worried about Gail? He He's, was in one and a half yeah. episodes. And he makes the most amazing coffee in the world, apparently. So <sighs> He just seemed like such a good dude. He could package that up, sell it, become a billionaire doing that. So He seemed like such a smart smart dude yeah and he was happy he's very positive he's a nice guy to have around mm, you know. but you know walt set him up to fail he clearly probably bullshitted and lied about the temperature on the machine just so that he could give him an excuse to get him out of there and get jesse in there to protect the family that would make the most sense so yeah. you ready to jump into this yep let's go yo Oof. Yeah, he got messed up. He did. It's interesting that he's got that tattoo, though. Man, I think that's damage. If you'd like to smoke, you need to be another 20 feet from the door. Roll me further, bitch. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, just as, as Jesse's Hank. coming out. Hank's going in. Male Caucasian, early 40s, multiple gunshot wounds. No breath sounds on the right Shit. side, and belly's rigid. Shoulder and hip through and through, right lung and lower left quadrant. Wow. Two large bore IVs, six units, a nag type and cross for six more units. Chest X-ray and K green. Do you think Jesse's thinking karma or damn? I'm not exactly sure. The way his new attitude is, I bet he's like, damn right. <laughs> I don't like that attitude though. How are you feeling? You okay? Actually. Oh, you did. Yeah. I just, I mean, I don't know. I'm like he's that got, type of person, no matter like how, well, I mean. He's got a whole new mindset. I have limits, but like, I don't know. I just wouldn't wish horrible things. Yeah. He's totally thinking like, yeah, bitch, karma. Yeah. Like. No, he, no he's thinking, karma, bitch. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but for sure. I thought we were kind of simpatico. We were becoming a real team. So much, no. I set up the entire lab. You said you liked the configuration, and I do. We just have different rhythms. He's having a real hard time coming up with a reason. I'm classical, but you are, are more jazz. And, and God knows there is nothing wrong with jazz. I require classical. Shit, man, this is the ball. Yeah, that's not classical. That is not classical at all. What's up, partner? <laughs> oh. Where goes that? I can't believe it. It's all like shiny up in here. This no. makes no sense. I guess this is. <laughs> You're gonna miss that coffee though. 200 pounds a week. Got it? Oh, man. Fucking Jesse. Oh. Seriously, calm down, dude. Stop, Jesse, calm stop. down. You're making everybody look bad. There's a cell service out here. It's non-existent. There's a hard line for emergencies. You haven't talked to anybody today other than, you know, Captain Nerd there, your brother-in-law. What about him? So what's the story? Oh, on arrival, he was Take unresponsive. You get a uh, blood pressure cuff or an ABIs? Where's that blood? Oh, that guy. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Is Skyler gonna call him out for his not family at the moment line? I'm so sorry. He shot him four times. Oh, Christ. Right now, all we know is two men ambushed Hank. Their tattoos indicated an affiliation with the drug guard. And Max, the cartels tend to be dramatic. We probably don't have one tough son of a bitch. Take them both out. Considering he didn't even have his gun. He didn't have his gun. The assault charge. I had to suspend Hank pending the investigation. I had to take away his weapon. It's their fault. What kind of partner are you? Oh, uh, he wasn't Dude. even there. You were it's... supposed to back him up, and where were you? So no one else is supposed to live their life? or Instead excel in their career. Their she has a right to be angry, but it's understandable. Yeah. You are not welcome here. The DEA is not welcome here. Damn, that's rough. Yeah. Meanwhile. How about Heisenberg, is he welcome? Right. It's you, Walt, Miss Pinkman. We would have never even heard his name if you hadn't bought marijuana from him. You're looking for someone to blame, and it's understandable, but don't blame Walt. It's not his fault. I'm sorry. <gasps> wow. Really? I'm just looking <laughs> for a way to fix something, I guess. Okay. 
I mean, that drives me crazy, hello. too, to be honest. The fuck is he doing? Hello, hello, hello. I hate that he's there by himself. Yo, yo, yo! Do I see Pinkman in the house? No, 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 no. Don't, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Sometimes you just be such a dipshit. Walter White, please pick up a courtesy phone. <laughs> Shit. Yo, we working sometime this year? What the hell are you thinking? Why are you calling me here? I tried your cell and it went straight to voicemail. We have responsibilities here. I must cook on my own. You will do no such thing. Why not? It's gotta be some sort of manual. Oh, God. Right? Jesse, touch nothing. I'm not your bitch to order around. We're partners. Thank you very much for your kind words. We we really do appreciate that. And please do keep us in your thoughts. Hey, tell your douchebag brother-in-law to head towards the light. Oh, my God. Do you know who that was? Don't even bother, dude. Yeah, you don't start explaining shit she didn't ask. This fork is absolutely filthy. Aunt Marie, it's water spots. We are in a hospital. They need to be held to a higher standard. Just let her have her brand. There's no reason to argue with her. How are you supposed to survive this death trap? You know, there's just some things you don't fight about. I survived. I had my lobectomy at this hospital. Remember how scared we all were? All I could think of was how they were actually going to cut me open. Um, not helping. Part of me. Well, all not helping right now. He's having a uh, school auditorium moment. Yes. About the plane. They took me into pre-op, waiting for them to anesthetize you, knowing that you may never wake up again. That was even worse. <laughs> Come on, man. He's not good at these talks. What I really yeah. just stop, <laughs> dude. Why doesn't someone kick him or something? I survived this place, and I'm not half the man your husband is. That was nice. That's all he should have said. Yeah. You didn't need that whole story. I mean, I guess it's helping her put things in perspective. I get that. I just that beginning of that story was a little like shit. Yeah. Oh, Nobody won that. I heard that they attacked the DEA agent. Why would they do that? I didn't order this, and my men would never do this on their own. Someone gave the go-ahead. I am not in the habit of picking my own pocket. We lay low for the time being, and then we get the real story from my man who survived. Your man is in custody. I'll get him the best lawyer, and then we'll learn the truth. Better call Saul. Or keep me apprised. He's got to take care Anytime of it. You've got that kind of close proximity to the spine, there's always going to be cause for concern. You just heard he came through? Uh, yeah, well, that's, uh, you know, guardedly. The entire ZEA oh, is there. I'll take it. Staring at Heisenberg. His brother-in-law, Walt, I shot him. The one that's left, he's up there. Got the painkillers going on, resting comfortably. You got to see what Hank did to that bastard. You want to see? Shit. Oh, everybody's coming. Everybody's coming. Dude might recognize him if he's awake. Right. This is looking good. That's how you some bird. Oh shit! Don't 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 look at him. Don't look at him. Oh god. Oh shit! Oh my god. What in the fuck? Holy shit, dude. Now he realizes that it was after him. Holy shit. Seriously? How are you supposed to take him serious? I can't. Like, just leave and wait for, for know, Walt like, to call why you. Why you just leave? If Gus fucking walks in there, oh my god. No, 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 no. 
dead. Why isn't there anything cooking? Yeah, maybe now you understand that you shouldn't fuck around, dude. Yikes. Do you remember when we were out in the desert with Tuco? You mean when you put a machine gun to my head? He kept saying that someone was coming up from Mexico to get us. Who was that? It was his cousins. Oh, shit. I mean, Walt better hope that dude gets taken care of. Right. Is this uh, what you were asking for? Yeah. Uncle Hank gave it to me. Pablo Escobar, this big drug guy in, in the 80s. Oh, shit. It's more about the guys who investigated him and tried to bring him down. Some of them were DEA, you know? Everybody knows who Pablo Escobar is, but nobody knows about the guys that brought him down. I guess I never thought about it. The good guys never get inked like the bad guys do. Makes sense. I can expect delivery by tomorrow, as good. We're not going to be able to keep our schedule this week. Gail really screwed us up. Not on purpose, of course, but he just, he set us way back and we've been playing catch up ever since. Don't lie to him. He probably knows exactly what's going on. We will have 400 pounds for you by next week. I have your word on that. Shit. You do. You have my word on that. He's like, oh, I can't trust Walt then. Oh, that was fucking dope. Great. We'll be right down. Food's here. You like pollos hermanos? <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Men like your husband are the thin blue line between us and these animals. As it happens, I actually met Agent Schrader, Mr. White. Your name came up. Happened to be a collection jar out for you. We spoke briefly about your health concerns. Hope that there's been good news. Things have improved. Yes. That's wonderful to hear. This does not feel good oh, for Walt no, at all. Can you see the terrified face? I'm terrified. You know, I didn't say thank you. I'll, I'll walk him out. Does he need to go change his pants? Right. You knew my brother-in-law was with the DEA. I investigate everyone with whom I do business. But careful now. He is not a problem for us. Your being here is just some sort of message. I hide in plain sight, same as you. This attack on my brother-in-law, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know what it means. I fear for my family. I'm sure they'll be fine. The assassin that survived is gravely injured. It's tough for him to live. Thank you again. Did he do something to help initiate him not surviving? While he was I there? hope so. I hope so. No reason. Three, four. Give me a leader. He's sailing wide open. I can't get a pulse. Time of death. 2043. Vernon Howe, you piece of shit. Wow. <gasps> Mr. Clay. Your man died, I heard. And meanwhile, I have Federales surrounding my house. I think you're behind all this. Why would I do this? Go off on your own, maybe? When DEA gets shot, all of Washington starts barking. The DF suddenly has to put on a big show, and I wind up with Federales in my rose bushes. And when I get proof, and the others find out what you've done, maybe we come pay you a visit. Oh, shit. Maybe we can... <laughs> Oh shit. Oh damn, dude. Damn, Gus is terrifying. You do not want to fuck with that dude. Wow. Holy shit. I had it wrong all along. Everyone who's associated to Gus better watch their ass. Right? Holy shit. Straight savage. I think he's stable enough now for you to go see him briefly. 
Shit. Yikes, that doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good at all. Roller coaster. Yeah. Fucking roller coaster. Yeah. I mean. All of these episodes are so up, so down, so up, so down, so up, so down. And seriously. Like, you were up two seconds ago cheering for Gus, and now you're down two seconds later because Hank looks like he's clinging mm. to life. Yeah, he does not look. That doesn't look good. Not at all. I mean, getting shot four times, regardless of where you're getting shot, no, I would have to imagine is a really, really, really horrible thing for your body. I mean, he's had surgery. He doesn't even look like he's awake there. He doesn't look really responsive at all. He's so laying would there. Would somebody like this be going into a coma out for this? Like, I don't know. Your body's trying to protect itself. Good lord. Yeah, that was insane. But the whole Gustavo thing, I've been saying it for like three episodes that I'm like worried for him. Hell no, I ain't worried for him no more. I keep thinking when he walks outside that somebody's going to try and like come up on him. But like, he seems fine. He's got that shit on lock. Yeah. No question about it. I just, I just got this, maybe it's because he's so soft spoken and, and like so mellow and chill that like, yeah. I always was worried that some of like the cartel would not be okay with the decisions that he's been making and that they would handle it. But clearly he's like three or four steps ahead of all of them already. Like he has this shit, like he clearly knew the implications of what was going to happen mm -hmm. if the two twins killed a DEA or even just shot a DEA agent. Like that was going to create an absolute shit storm, which is what's happening. And now they're dead. Yeah. It's like, holy shit. Like he is, he is beyond calculated. This dude, like he calls himself careful. Like he's way beyond that. Like he is super calculated to the most detail anything that he's got to deal with. Yeah. So do you think he sent Mike to the hospital to take care of it? Yeah. And he put something in the, he dropped a needle in the disposal thing. He put something in his bloodstream. Okay. In his like IV probably. Okay. Uh, maybe like an air bubble. Or just something, something. to, some, I don't know if with dealing with a person like that, I don't know how much they're going to actually like go into the cause of death. I don't oh, know how they. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they handle that stuff with criminals. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I mean, I would imagine if he put something foreign into his IV that they would find it. But like, who are they going to link it to? Yeah. There's been like a thousand dudes in the, the so, hospital. So Gus probably told Mike to call Hank. Okay. I think Mike's definitely the one who's. So Mike and Gus. So two out of the three. Yeah. Mike's doing all the dirty work, basically. Mm -hmm. That's why we call him Mr. Clean. Yeah, he cleans up messes. And he just cleaned up another one. Mm -hmm. That was... Dude, that scene... Where he, like, climbed off of his hospital he bed. He saw... Like, as soon as he saw Walt, he, like, lost his shit. I mean, he's, like, ripping all his... starting going up. He's ripping all his stuff off. He's just, like, friggin' legless. Climbing off the bed, trying to crawl after. Like, what were you gonna... Like, what are you gonna do? I know. What like, are you gonna do? But it's very that's like how, Terminator esque. Yeah, that's how intense their hatred is for for them. Mm -hmm. You kill their family member, they have a deep, deep, deep hatred and a deep passion for trying to kill you. Yes. Because no normal person would probably be able to crawl out of the bed like that without probably dying in that moment. Right. Like the adrenaline he probably was feeling and the anxiety of like seeing him was like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking murder him. That shit was crazy. Yes. And I have no words. I have zero words. Yeah. It was just, that. it was intense. There, there, there've been so many intense moments in this show lately. Like I just, I just feel it just keep going up and up and getting more and more intense. And like, just what the hell is Jesse doing? Well, also, but like, whoa. Like, Walt needs to learn his lesson that, like, you don't lie to Gus. Oh, yeah. There's no point for that. That for sure. Like, he knew, he knew, like, <laughs> Walt's not a good liar. 
Yeah. Like, he's really not good at it. I mean, even talking to Gail, like, seriously. Yeah, like, he thinks he's really good at it because he's super smart, but he, like, lacks that part of his brain mm -hmm. is to pull off a good lie because it's written all over his face. Just, he just blabbers. Yeah. He just keeps... He's not good at it. He, he talks, talks too, much. too much. He just keeps going. He's like, hey, you know who that was? Like, she didn't ask. Skylar didn't ask you who was on the phone. She doesn't care. Because she knows. Yeah. She knows it was somebody bad. Yeah, she knew it was work-related, mm -hmm. which is not the school anymore. No. Nope. Um, but yeah, Jesse is a total knucklehead. Just couldn't help himself in the lab. How are they going to make 400 pounds? They're going to they work. They couldn't even make the 200. They're going to work a lot. Jesus, I don't know. They got a lot of work to do. And Jesse needs to just calm down. It's a really nice lab. Hopefully he got that all out of his system and he could focus. And hopefully he didn't touch anything and break <laughs> it. Shit. You dipshit. Um, he's like, uh, Jesse, why is there no air left in here? Oh, I blew up my suit with it. It's gone. Sorry. It's just... <laughs> it's just... This is an air compressor. Yeah, I know. That was just the only example I could think of. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just like, you good? Out of your system? Now focus. You got lots and lots and lots of... Very serious work to get well, done. Well, maybe Jesse now understands the gravity of the situation. I don't know. Doubt it. I don't know. He's, he's still gonna fuck around. That's just he. That's just his personality. Yeah. He's. That's just who he is. As he doesn't a, apply himself. I mean, when he does, he he's done good. Yeah. And it feels like I feel like that's the first time we've really seen him. I think it is the first time we've seen him kind of acting out and kind of goofy like that since he's gotten back from rehab. Yeah. He's been like very, very straight and like just focused. Not a lot of emotion or any of that stuff. So, yes. any other thoughts? Not at the moment, but I'm sure by the time we watch another episode, we'll have plenty to think about and say. What are your emojis? So, for the emojis, I had to I had to look this up because I had to make sure that the uh, that emojis exist. were available. Yes. Uh, hospital. A purple heart for Marie, since she was wearing purple. I think purple is her thing. She's got purple everything. Purple's everywhere in this show. Yeah, and a chicken. Yes. A fried, either a chicken or a fried chicken leg, because I have a fried chicken leg that you, you can get You got there. the fried a, chicken leg. A drumstick. Put that in there. A drumstick. Yeah. Fried chicken yeah. leg. You know what I mean. <laughs> a drumstick, yo. <laughs> yo. All right, y'all. So hospital, purple heart, and a dr drumstick or a chicken. Depending on what you got. Yeah. Right? I mean, there could be so much more things. Those I are the mean, three we're going to go with. We'll stick with those yeah. three. And yes, we will see you. That's my job. Ah. All right, y'all. Leave those emojis down below. As always, let us know what you thought of that episode. That was another really intense one. Just some crazy shit going down. So like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we will catch you guys later. Have a good one, yo. See you later. Bye.